Canada's former chief electoral officer says the government's proposed changes to the Elections Act could leave some Canadians unable to vote. Jean-Pierre Kingsley said today that the reforms put the integrity of the entire electoral system at risk. A warning that was echoed across the country. Senior correspondent Terry Malefsky has that story. Terry. Well, Peter, four out of ten Canadian voters didn't bother to vote last time, so plenty of pundits said, nah, people won't care much about this new and complicated elections bill. Well, guess again. Stop voter suppression! Let people vote! The demonstrations were small, but they were all over the country today, accusing the Conservatives of undermining democracy. They're disenfranchising tens of thousands of people, who, whose only offence appears to be they tend not to vote Conservative. He's part of a growing unease about the bill's ban on vouching, where one voter can vouch for another who doesn't have ID. We're just looking at this as a way of the, the government attempting to suppress votes, not to make our elections fair. And more and more academics and experts are lining up to say the bill must be changed or scrapped. As they stand, these provisions will impact very negatively on the values of participation, impartiality and transparency. The government says vouching leads to fraud. Experts say there's no evidence of that, but the minister presses on. Our reasoned position is that people should choose from among 39 different forms of identification to prove who they are and where they live. Still, his effort to push the bill through despite the objections makes the opposition suspicious. They're trying to load the dice for the next campaign. They're not able to provide any serious arguments. There's no reason to be removing people's right to vote. When you have declining voter turnout, the point is not to make it harder to vote. The bill also eases restrictions on party fundraising. It's about the Conservatives wanting to make it easier for people to donate money while making it harder for people to vote. Yet another issue is that the bill limits what the chief electoral officer can say in public. The person who knows about election fraud earliest, the chief elections officer, is not allowed to speak to the public. I want the head of Elections Canada to be able to speak freely to the people. Now, the government says it's open to amending the bill on that one point. But otherwise, it seems set on getting it passed as is and soon. Because with every passing day, the resistance seems to be hardening, Peter. Terry's in Ottawa tonight. Thanks, Terry.